So what's up? Today I'm gonna talk about this video. If you wanna see the video in full, check it out here. And well, anyways, as far as the production goes, for this video, I got um, I got called by a producer. I actually was recommended by a photographer friend of mine, and I got called by this produ this producer, and she brought me into the production. Super nice person, and the photographer that recommended me is also a friend. We've worked together in the past, and he thought I could be a good fit for this project. As far as I remember, he was uh, one day production, half of the day. We spent like the morning part of the day we spent on a boat and then we went to the beach, if I remember correctly. Let me check. So yeah, that was it. We spent the, the morning part of the shoot in this cool vintage boat. And the whole idea, when they showed me the model, showed me the location, showed me everything, the whole idea for the video on my end was to kind of do an all-American vibe, kind of old Abercrombie vibes, because I saw the model and I said like, this model, he kind of um, embraces this like all-American vibe thing. And, well, and he's such a nice kid as well. So, so we went there, started like super early in the boat, we shot half of the day there in the boat and the other part of the day we shot on, on a very quiet beach slash park that we have here in Miami and it's kind of like a lot of shoots happen there but it's very quiet and what I wanted to talk about this, fuck I forgot. So yeah, as far as uh, equipment goes, at the time I had an A7 III and I brought my Canon R5, which was my main camera at the time. And I basically shot almost everything on the Canon R5. And the parts that I wanted to like kind of downgrade, I shot on the and in the 73. The R5 files were kind of like heavy to handle in my computer at the time when they had a lot of effects on. So I went with this kind of vintage coloring the vintage music and obviously as most of my videos I kind of cut to the beat and I was able to like take a little bit of a kind of like a voyeur approach I was trying to like capture moments of this guy in a boat so it worked well in that way for the video part that was it but to be honest there wasn't much about it. I guess the biggest takeaway from this like uh, this specific video and the videos that I've been posting lately, the older ones, is that it's very common that the, um, the photographer will bring you as the video person. And for that to happen, obviously you have to network and like create nice bonds with photographers, with other people that are also in the industry, photographers, producers, creative directors, so then when they need you, when they need someone to shoot a, a fashion film, they will look for you. Besides that, when that kind of project knocks on your door, it's very likely that your situation is, it's gonna be kind of like tight budget and you have to be one person band. I hadn't shoot a lot of um, fashion film with guys at, the, at that moment, which was, um, which was nice to broaden my portfolio. And, and in that sense, it's nicer for you if you use the projects that hire you to upgrade your portfolio, but in a way that you're seizing the, that opportunity to make something that you otherwise wouldn't. So that's what I usually do. I, I try to improve my, my portfolio, my reel, my side, and this one person band system, I try to improve the visuals I'm putting out by obviously doing my best, but also by bringing when I can or when I think it's a good idea to bring the nicest equipment that I have that I can operate by myself. So, of course, not all the projects deserve your best equipment. Sometimes it's just your B cam that you're gonna use. Of course, you're always trying to achieve the best you can with what you have, but sometimes it's just 
whatever the, the, the whatever fits the budget and sometimes you're gonna want to bring better equipment because it's a nice opportunity for you to create better stuff if it's a basic project and it's not gonna give me anything new I'll definitely charge rent for the equipment if they want like my expense my most expensive equipment if it's a project that you think can improve the visuals that you're putting out let's say it's a great brand it's a great model it's a great crew it's an amazing creative direction sometimes you can not think so much about the budget and bring your best guns instead of just waiting for the rent to happen so then when you finalize your project what you have is the most amazing project you could possibly do with your resources and ultimately that's what gonna push your career forward having amazing stuff on your reel having amazing projects that you shot and and used to seize the, the good opportunities that you had to actually make it happen so you guys today is a, it's a short video about this video but I, I mean of course as usual we derailed so anyways if you need anything just hit me up see you